Welcome to the Experimental Aircraft Channel. In this episode, we visit with builder Brian Steck and the Builder Assist Program at Legend Cup. Coming up right now. Hey, my name is Brian Steck. I'm from Mineola, Texas, and I'm here at Legend Cub building a uh, Legend Cub AL-18 Moac Edition. I'm really excited about uh, what we've been able to do um, with the aircraft and all the options that I was able to put on it. Uh, it's very customizable, and, and I appreciate Darren Hart and his crew for, uh, for allowing me to do this. Uh, one of the big highlights we do now, we're doing a lot of build assist programs. This is where the owner or the buyer of the aircraft wants to build their own airplane. So they will come in here for three to four weeks at a time. Brian's been here for uh, he's going on week four solid straight now to finish up the aircraft, but the, the builder comes in and he'll go through the same production process as we're building the airplane here at the factory. Uh, he'll go, like I said, to the pre-assembly stage and build up his fuselage. He'll go to the wing department and uh, help build up his wings. And then he'll spend a week or two in the covering department covering his own airplane. And once it gets all painted, uh, he'll come in here and uh, assemble his own aircraft. And as you see, uh, it takes about three weeks to get through this process, but uh, Brian's engine was installed and uh, we're going through certification actually today of uh, certifying his aircraft. So they're getting ready to weigh it. That's why you see the scales here and uh, and get the airplane certified by the FAA. So I have the uh, the Titan, it's the IO370. It is, I went with the fuel injected. Uh, was, my understanding is I'll be able to get uh, great fuel economy with that uh, with that engine, but I also have the, the uh, performance when I need it. So I believe it's rated for 195 horsepower is what, what that will uh, put out. Went with the uh, Hartzell Trailblazer is a, um, it's gonna be a constant speed propeller and uh, wanted to be able to have kind of the best of both worlds, I guess. The pull when I need it and the uh, and the uh, be able to uh, pull it back up you know at altitude whatever altitude that is most of the time I'm sure it's going to be as low to the ground as I can get so went with the Desser 31 inch uh, tire and the 10 inch uh, Desser rims Grove brake system on it also has the uh, TK1 suspension is this uh, something you thought up or well, no, Darren uh, actually, you know, said that uh, he goes, hey, we've come up with a good idea for a landing light uh, and we, we thought we would want to do it. I think I actually did it on, on Bo Ellis's aircraft first and then, then on mine as the second one. But uh, I was all about it. Uh, you know, it's a way to get that light to where it's adjustable. It's, uh, it's got an actuator inside to where it'll, it will, um, you know, you can, you can bring it all the way out or you can bring it partially out. You can adjust it uh, and it's extremely bright and uh, just love the function of it and uh, this gives you the uh, availability to uh, just right there from your dash to have a selector switch to, to go from a you know the Garmin 360 camera out on the wing um, or you know the verb I think it's called a Volb, verb ultra 30 camera that's uh, so we'll have uh, both of those two or possibly three cameras in the aircraft on the aircraft to be able to have lots of different views and to be able to uh, to be able to go back and experience the things that we that we fly over and see and with technology today and the camera systems you know as we always hear you know the picture never does the you know does the scenery justice and with but nowadays it's getting a lot better so I'm excited about being able to go back and recapture those those times if you are finding value in this video hit the like button and it's really important that you subscribe as it helps me get sponsors like Airworks Aero Adventure Wingbug Grip Block Ties Edge Performance and new this month kit plane parts and right now Grip Block Ties has a promo for USA customers to get free shipping, just use the code experimental. Find all of these links in the description below. Let's jump back in. Just curious of how, I like to hear how people got started in aviation. So, so how did you get started in aviation first off? Well, aviation to me, uh, man, I was that kid that was up on the roof, jumping off of my roof with a sheet, trying to see if I could fly, climbing the highest tree, breaking my arms, whatever I could do to get in the air. And uh, just, I've had a passion since I was a young child. So, um, you know, life circumstances, you know, did not allow me to be able to fly for many years, but when it did, when it did afford me that opportunity to fly, I, I took advantage of it. And, uh, you know, a lot of it was because our businesses needed me to be in p different places. And, and uh, so. Um, so are, are you a rated pilot? What ratings do you have in hours? 
So I have about 1,200 total time hours, uh, and I have a instrument rating. Uh, I also have my multi-engine rating. Um, I had a Baron, you know, I have a, a proper Malibu Mirage now. Uh, I have one also being converted to a jet prop uh, at, the, at the time, and, and uh, from a Baron, and then a Cirrus before that, and a 172. But as, and so let's talk about the, the uh, Legend Cub. The reason for the Legend Cub is because as the business requires me to be more places, bring more people, go farther, you know, all that. You, you, you're always advancing in aircraft. You know, we're looking to move up to a faster aircraft, a higher aircraft, a more comfortable aircraft. But the more you do that, the more you lose that fun flying. You don't, you, you just don't get to just go out and play anymore. You just don't gra go grab a Baron to just go, you know, fly slow and slow. And you, you know, you're, you're on a trip, you're on a mission, you're going somewhere, you have business to tend to. You normally have somebody in the aircraft, you know, that you're, that you're trying to discuss something with. But with you know the legend cub it's fun you're getting more back to basics if you will back to basics back to just you know the the stick and rudder aircraft you know just the flying the airplane and going and just having fun Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.